hello everyone and today we are actually going to learn how we can create this mark effect which actually turns the direction if i scroll up and if i scroll down it changes this direction like this you could see looks very cool right and we are going to use gsap for this one so like this whole page is being created with gsap and I'm, and i'm going to create like a big tutorial in future which explains gsap so that we could animate anything in elementor like cool animations like this and then text animations like this uh, that's for future but for this video we are just going to do the mark effect and one thing you guys need to know that there are some limitations of this i was not able to make it like universal because of like limitations of my skills i believe but or it could be like limitations of browser too because i'm not able to figure out some of the issues so case by case it might be different if you might fi find the same issue or not and one thing is we do require elementor pro but if you don't have elementor pro no worries i actually have a video on youtube that you could check in which i go on how we can use elementor css without having elementor pro and based on that tutorial you could do some changes in this video and it would still work it just like it just takes like 5 seconds to do the changes if you want to use the free version method okay so to give you guys a brief overview this is the container that we have we have a gradient animation happening around here and then we have some content around here okay and this is like my sixth time recording because again the limitations like i said uh i was trying to fix them but every time i decided to record those that those issues popped up so i was like i'm giving up i'm going to just show you guys what the limitations are and what you guys have to work into those limitations and that way i don't have to like create a video which is like universal fix or something but in future if i find something i'll just link it in the description or uh, in the comment with the new uh, video link but for this one we will just show how this works okay so we have a gradient like this and if i go to my mark you container if i make it go from top to bottom let me just remove the what this stuff you could see i actually have two containers which are basically same so if i open this one i have mark you inner and then mark you inner both of these are same both of them have like identical stuff like no difference okay so the reason why we have that is if i show you guys so this is like the first text that we have and if i place it like this so if i if it goes from left to right you could say there's like empty space around here but if i attach the second one like this to the back of it if it scrolls towards left you could see this is how it looks so it will keep scrolling because we have a copy of it oops didn't mean to go that far so we will go like this much and as soon as this ends like this what happens it, it suddenly snaps back to the first location and what it is that the first location and the final location is supposed to be same so like this and that way it just has like a seamless transition between like the final snapping to the first uh, location snapping so that is why we have like two of the same container and like i said the limitation that i want to show you guys is you see i have this container and what you guys need to do is you need to make sure the content that you add inside it should not exceed the size of this page or basically it should not exceed the, exceed the size of the container so you cannot just like uh duplicate stuff like this and then hope that it works because you could say it just stuff went outside so we have to make sure that everything inside of this should be uh, should be visible in this container so if i scroll if i make this like this you could see that everything should be equally inside nothing should be going outside this container that is the only limitation that i have and i was trying to figure out how we can make it better but uh, currently i was not able to so let's quickly get into it how we do that and let me show you so the first thing first we do is we add our container so i'm going to speed up the process a bit so that this video does not get like very long so if you find this video to be faster just like reverse the video or slow down the video and you will understand but else the video will get like way too long so i'll just create a container i'll make this full width and make this 100 in height and this one i will do is this is the code that i have and this is not the final code there's one more text that we have to add but we will add that at the end so we'll take this one and then add it in our custom css if you don't have custom css option then again you watch that video and 
the only thing that you will change is this one you will like type dot container name and then you will add a css class around here and then you have send html widget that way it would just work but you could see this is how the gradient looks here you could see i've written four seconds so it takes four seconds of animation if i change this to one second you could see it is like faster animation if i change to 10 second it is slower animation so four looks good and then if you go to this site which is css gradient io you could actually choose your own gradient however you want wherever you want choose your color and then copy this background and then replace this background section like this and in that way you would have your own color around here next step is i'll first add a name to it so if you open the navigator like this it would show around here and then you could type your name so i'll type gradient container you can name it anything it's just so that we know which one is which instead of it i'll add another container make this full width make it 100 and this one i'll call as mark you container like this uh, we will keep no wrap on like this on and here we will do is we will make the size of it have flex shrink to be zero uh, if you don't know what flex shrink does uh, i'll you will understand in the in future of this video but for time being just know that we do flex shrink zero like this instead of this we add another container again we make this full width make this 100 now if you didn't don't want this gradient animation you don't need to do the gradient container you could start from this section okay you don't need to add gradient container we will go in here uh, we will make this have white color for time being i'll make it gray and let's make it mark you inner like this which is 100 pixels and everything's like this in our mark you container we will make it go from left to right uh, or maybe keep it like this but we will change it later to show you guys in mark you inner i will add a text which is our stuff like this and then i'll make it place in center and then let's duplicate it i don't want it from like in this way so i'll make it left to right and then i'll place it be in the center and rather than this i'll do space evenly and this is where i want to show you guys that we shouldn't use pixels for example if i do duplicate like this you will think that oh it's now covering my whole container so i cannot add in any more stuff but if i make this smaller you could suddenly see that more steps uh, more space gets added and that is because pixel is like a fixed value we don't want to use a fixed value so instead we will use something called uh viewport width okay so this one but again another thing before i do let's say if i duplicate and add one more thing you could see that the text got smaller if we don't want that to happen we can choose this one go and click on our size and then choose flex shrink to be zero and that would just make sure that the uh, this thing does not sm get smaller so you could see if i do space style paste style paste style this is how it looks and you could see this just went outside so that is a problem in this one and that is the fix that i was finding that uh, to allow myself to actually just create a container that gets bigger i think it is possible with just doing coding but because we are doing with elementor stuff i think there might be some css issue or something that does not allow us to like stretch this container for some reason so i'll just do is i'll delete my heading and instead of using pixels i'll actually change this to wave width or wave port width so based on a width of the size we could just choose some sizing like this so let's say if i make it point let's say like 0 0.14 let's see let's do paste style let's do paste style and let's do paste style now if i make it bigger you could see that the text also went bigger based on the screen width and this would also comes in handy because if the size of the window is like very big for example someone has like a wide screen size of this desktop then uh, if you use pixel then it would be like seven texts are shown like together or eight texts are shown together but if we use like we put width the text just gets bigger and it just works nicer and let's say if you want to add an image inside of this one you could add an image go into your size uh, for some reason if the image is not showing it will show after you make this to let's say zero like this so right now you could see that the image was actually showing for me but sometimes it might not show 
based on like the design that you have made but make it zero and it will just stretch up and we will go into custom and then add like percentage instead and that way it would also stretch based on the screen size you could see like this and then we can simply just add our stuff inside of this one like this now you could see the text just went outside so i'll just you know call something like dm motion arts i didn't even type the name of my brand correctly okay so we can do stuff like this i can make this one be at the center like this so like paste style paste style paste style paste style now you could add like more stuff but again because of the limitation it has to be limited to like this full width section and it is the limitation is also like very case by case and i don't know why that happens but if you check this video if you this is something that i'm going to give as a template to in the description okay so you will be able to download it and case by case you might be able to add like even more stuff like this so you will be able to add like more stuff you could see you will be able to so like you might be able to add like more stuff or you would able you would you would need to like make it like smaller uh, stuff like this so it is very case by case so just play around with uh, your requirements your text or your image requirements or you could add anything if you want video button anything that you want you could add it in here so this is how our mark your inner looks we will go and we have to also make sure this one has like flex shrink to be zero and once we have done everything we are just going to duplicate it like this and then we will choose this mark you container and make it go left to right like this let's do preview changes and see what we have created right now and i know it looks ugly right now but i don't want to style it and make it like a bigger tutorial <laughs> if i try to style it it will just get like annoyingly big if i go right side you could see that this is showing around here but we don't want any space between this those uh between those inner containers so we will choose mark you container and make it zero let's do preview changes and here you could see it now like starts from like this stuff okay and no matter the screen size it should work like this now one thing is instead of using 100% we will actually use fit content like this so if we click on this pen icon and type fit content we will copy this and also do it for like uh, this one too and we will also do it for this one too so we'll type fit content like this and what fit content does is uh, i'll quickly create like a container here to show you guys because i forgot to show in the first one I'll add another container full width and you could now see that this container is like this much big right so if I make some let's say red color you could see this is how big this container is if I add a text you could see this is how it looks so if I click on this one go in here and then make it fit content you could see that the container size changes to however the container it is like how much container it is or how much content it is basically like this and okay so a break would be there because my cat just pooped on like like on the floor so i need to clean it up so poop break okay so i don't remember where i was so it took like longer to clean up but yeah you could see that this is how it looks right now and then obviously we could do is we could choose our mark you container and then remove the padding like this and our next step would be to add our code but before we add this code which is around here so let me just copy this and we don't need all this stuff okay so this is the code that we are going to use and let's just do is copy this one and it would not work because we need to do some changes so this mark you container we need to call it as mark you dash container then the mark you inner need to be called as mark you inner let's copy this 
and paste it in the second one too. And then let's go to our code, not this one. This one, and I'll explain to you guys a bit of the code so that you could do some changes. But before that, in our in a gradient container, I'll just add an HTML widget. So make sure you could add like HTML widget anywhere, but it needs to be below these containers. So wherever you want to add, but I like to keep it organized. So I'll keep it around here in my gradient container. And I'll just copy this and suddenly you could see that the animation is working, but it might not work to you guys. Okay. So why if you find that after adding this, it is not working, it could be that the GSAP library, which is added via this. So we add a reference to the GSAP library uh, so that it runs on our website. But it might be that uh, another plugin or theme has already been added to the GSAP. So try removing this, like this, try removing this and then do a preview change and then see if it works or not. It might not show changes in here. So check on the live page and then try, try it without this thing. And once and after that, try with this thing. And if you, if it works with this thing, then it means that we, we were the one that we, that added the GSAP. But if it was already running, if you remove this, then some other plugin or theme has been adding it. Okay. So this is how the code would look like. Now you could see that there is something that I have removed via using comment. So let's say some issue happens that if you added like multiple stuff and it is bigger than the container, try removing this or how, do, how you remove it by uh, selecting this press control and press uh, forward black uh, forward slash it is left to your right shift okay it should be like so basically this uh, this button okay so this slash we select this press control and then forward slash and then check if that fixes some stuff or if this is even needed if it's not needed you could keep it empty like this the way i've kept Let's go to our preview changes and see if it if it is working or not. So if I scroll down and if I scroll up, uh, it's not showing because we are in inspect and for some reason in inspect it does not show. So let's go to like normal page. So you can see if I scroll down, it is going towards left. If I scroll up, it is going towards right. Let's go to inspect first and confirm some things that. So, okay, this, this is working. If we add overflow hidden, it would like work perfectly. Okay. So don't, no need to worry about like this stuff showing. We will like, add extra code later. And if I, let's say refresh this page and then I went around here, you could see what's happening. As soon as this touches here, it just snaps back to the first location. Okay, for some reason it just refreshed. <laughs> it automatically refreshed. What a good timing. So if I let's do as soon as this would touch around here, you could see it instantly switch back to this location and that makes it look like it is like a seamless transition. So if we wait for a few seconds, you could see there was actually a transition, but you would not even notice it. And you could see there's a sl small line around here. We can easily fix this by getting a mark you container and giving it the same color that we had given. So if we give like the same color that we have given the mark you inner, it would just fix that. Okay. So let's do that. And now you could see it does work nicely. And before you add the code, let's say if you remove the code, you could see it's still working. So that's because the code has already executed. So what you need to do is you need to remove the code and then refresh it. If you want to see like the without the coding so that you could do some changes. So I recommend doing all the changes at first and then doing the code at the end. So now if I choose this, let's say mark you container, if I make it go from like top to bottom, you could see these are like equal size and all. But now what I want to do is I totally forgot to change the sizing for the desktop and all. So if I, if we go to that uh, tablet portrait, we can actually change this text to actually have something like pixels this time. So rather than using uh, wave width, we can actually change to pixel simply because a tablet would be like very small. So the wave width would be like, would make the text look like very, very small. Okay. So we can actually change this to be something like this. So let's do paste style, paste style. And we can also increase the size of this one a bit more, but you could say it is actually going outside, but I'll show you something that we could do. 
So I'll just delete the second one and then duplicate the first one so that we have the same styling. Let's do preview changes. So this looks normal, but if we go to our desktop sizing, which is less than 1024 pixels. So let's go to less than 1024 pixels. It is looking different than what we are seeing around here. Okay, so this is how it is looking around here, right? Uh, kind of like this one so what we can simply do is we can go to our this container and rather than using fit content we can just make this be like 200 percent or something and then make this also like 200 percent obviously you could play around with this just until you figure out something that works and it is something that i wanted to like not happen where we actually need to change it again and again for like different screen sizes I was trying to find some universal solution that would just work instantly so that you don't need to do anything but i was not able to figure it out so you could see this is how it looks right now so again you could play with like 150 120 stuff like this until you figure out something that works so if you go into this section this page you could see that we have given this fit content but if we go to our tablet portrait you could see i have given this like 200 percent and if you go to a mobile portrait, I have given this like 400% like this. Because if we keep it 100, it would not work. So if we keep it 100, you could see this is how it looks. So we are just making the container be like four times the size of the normal container size. And this is where another thing that show that I want to tell you guys that let's say if you want to add more content, if you really, really want to add more content, Rather than using like the fit content instead, instead of this, you could actually play with like higher values like 150 or like 120 stuff like this until it fits your containers. Okay. So for time being, let's just keep fit content because I wanted it to be doing that automatically instead of like uh, having to use like our own percentage. I don't know why that's not happening because fit content is supposed to stretch the content based on our or based supposed to stretch the container based on our inner container but when it is being bigger than the size of our screen it is not working for some reason so just remember like some issues that pop up and then you could just add your code oops not this one where is it i did create a copyright okay there we go Let's paste it and you could see how this works. It goes towards left. And then snaps back to first one. But if we just make it left like this, it just looks nicer. So there are like lots of different ways to actually fix your stuff by using percentage or just using fixed content and make sure these two are same and then 100% of stuff like this. And I'll also give this template so that you could like make it to your own requirements rather than creating from start. So there are some issues. If you find if you like find some solution for it, just let me know in the comments. I would like it to I, I'll just pin that comment so that others can use too. And if you find any issues, just leave a comment. I'll try to solve it as much as possible. And please leave a URL of your page if you want me to solve something. That way I could actually check the CSS. Else it would like it would be like harder to do it. Okay. And now to make it be like a uh, left to right like this, we can simply choose the marquee container. We can go into our transform. We could actually do is do some rotation like this. Let's do let's say I guess minus four minus four or like minus two so minus two like this and then if we do stuff like this it might not work perfectly so sometimes you might need to do is add some scale so do 1.1 scale like this else it would create like a small line at the left and right which would not which would be like weird looking so we did 1.1 like this to our mark container and then in our gradient container code uh like i said if we go into our tutorial page the reason why we haven't added that code is because we were trying to troubleshoot any issues that happen so you know if we go to inspect and then if we try to go like left and right like this you could see this is something that should not be visible it is outside our container size right 
So if you try to check the page right now in mobile, you would see that you would be able to like swipe left and right because of like this stuff. We don't want that to be visible. So we'll choose a gradient container, go to our styling and inside of this we will type overflow x and do clip like this. So overflow x clip and then if I do reveal, uh, sorry, if I do preview right now, you could see right now I cannot scroll left and right. You could see which is why I added the code later on because this that allowed us to like do some troubleshooting but right now I cannot move it left and right no matter how much I click. So just this text changes everything by adding overflow clip and play around with values make sure like you use like some nice styling and all to make it work to your own requirements else again it looks like way too big sometimes so right now this is like way too big. Also, this one kind of feels like way too big after looking at it for a few more time. So I'll just reduce the size of it too. So just play around with values, find your own design. And then, yeah, that's all. Like and subscribe, share this video. There are more templates on my website for Elementor. You could check my blog too for more cool features like this. And consider using the links in description to support me. And yeah, just subscribe so that I reach 1000 subscribers. So yeah, bye.